Welcome to the Orlando Informer. It's our first meetup, Maddie. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. We are here at Universal Studios Florida for our first ever Orlando Informer meetup. So what does that mean, Madison? What are you explain? Okay, well, we can get into the park at five, which we're doing now, and then eight, the day guest leaves, and we get to stay till 1.30, and free unlimited food gets out of more restaurants around nine o'clock. So unlimited food, after the day guest leaves, most of the rides are running, characters are out. There's a creepy tiki, which I'm looking forward to seeing. I don't know what's gonna go on to creepy tiki, but excited to take our in our first Orlando Universal Studios after hours event, the Orlando Informer. You ready, Maddie? Yes. Let's do this Universal adventure. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at Orlando Informer meetup, picking up our tickets. Picking up our $15 gift cards for food beforehand. And if I can get them out of here. That's for $15 before the free food starts. And then we also have wristbands here as well. What are the wristbands for? The wristbands are to make sure you guys don't get kicked out once this week for the park. Okay, so we stay in past the day guest, in other words. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. If you have any questions, you can scan the QR code and then Orlando Informer will answer any questions you may have throughout the night. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Alright, Maddie, where are we going into? Going into the Jurassic Park Street Store. Well, why is it here this year? Because it's the 30th anniversary. That's right. Madison, welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jeeps are very iconic, the Jeep wraps. Is the jacket? Yeah. Uh, $110. Whoa. This is kind of cool. Got the 30th anniversary sign. How much is a mug? How many? $17. That's okay, that's at least a pretty good sized mug. But uh, we don't need another mug. Wow. Is that cool? Madison. Oh, 
kinds of great photo ops in here in the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary photo ops. I really like this purse, but not for a hundred dollars or whatever it is. How much is this shirt? Thirty. It is nice and soft. All kinds of tumblers, jerseys. They really have too many sweets in here. This first tribute store, I've only seen with a couple of sweets. No, I gotta fix myself for later. Don't think I'm not gonna have a red pudding. <laughs> All right, Manna, so where are we now? We are in the creepy tea. Hey, what's going All right, on? I have the Haunted Isle. It's 15.50. It's one of two special drinks in here at the Creepy Tiki. It has uh, it's a mixture of rums with pineapple and orange juice along with syrup and pimento bitters. So it's uh, pretty sweet. If you like sweet tropical drinks, this one's for you. It's $15.50, so um, not cheap in the creepy tiki, but it's good. And you got to come for the ambiance of the zombies. Check them out, Manny. <laughs> Do you like the creepy tiki? Uh, it's cool in here. It's kind of the <laughs> We've never been back on the soundstage. Typically, this is where they host a lot of the things for an Orlando meetup. But there's some zombies running around in the creepy tiki, that's for sure. All right? Yeah. I can't say I've seen anything quite like this before. Are you, Maddie? Not that I know of.
Maddie, what did you think of the creepy tiki? I actually enjoyed it a lot better tonight than I did yesterday. Yeah, we're actually showing you two nights the best of. Tonight was a little bit better. They had the dance, we saw the whole the whole number and yeah. we had a lot more interactions than last night. It wasn't, not a lot of opportunity. Hello. Hi. Thank you very much. Oh yes. Hey. I don't see you all very much in the park, so thank you. Uh, very nice. Have a great evening. Bye bye. Right under the. So many character meet and greets I haven't seen in the park before. I don't even know who that was. Woody hey, and Bride of Frankenstein, Woody? Yeah. What has Woody been doing? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the pictures. Who else? Who did we take pictures with here? Okay, we got Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat, yeah. We have Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. We have Woody Woodpecker. And, his, and his the Bride of Franken Woody Pucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh, maybe anyone else? Was that it? Like Universal, not necessarily. I mean, they have Marilyn here. They have Beetlejuice. He's usually here. I haven't seen him in the last couple days, but I know he's here. I think that was it. But and they have Betty Boop. But we special met Doc character. Brown one time. That was oh yeah, really we cool. met Doc Brown, of course. Great Scott. Yeah, we met Doc Brown. But um, uh, same for the Informer. There's a lot of different characters that I've never seen out at Universal. There's also like absolutely no lines for them. Yeah, a good point, Maddie. No lines for them. Maybe one person in front of you. Yeah, for Spider-Man, we had to wait two people. At Disney, we'd have to wait about 35 people. Yeah. Like the Jack and Sally meet and greet, that's like a two hour of wait. It was worth it though, I will say. Yeah. There will be more Universal content coming. We will be back for the opening of HHN. I think it's our third year in a row. Yeah, let's take a look at the sign. These are the wait times at 1245, but they were like this at nine, so basically no crowds. I think Hangards may be the only, Hangards is probably shut down. Yeah, but you get the point. And then here's the new Minions Land sign, which I hadn't seen before. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This whole street is Minions, left and right now. First stop is the three broomsticks. It's so loud in here. We both got an apple pie to try. I got a little shepherd's pie. Maddie got a little fish and chips. And we both got a butter beer. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. The butter beer is included. Yum yum, right Maddie? So I wonder how much all this would have been individually. At least $50. I mean, I've never ordered the apple pie in here, but it's good. Shepherd pie is pretty good. We haven't tried the fish and chips. We will in a minute, right Maddie? And actually the bar back here is all the butter beer you can drink too, it's included. It is jamming back here. So we are in Finnegan's, and this is what's included at Finnegan's. Got some salad, hot wings, celery, empanadas, and hopefully red pudding. Hello. Thank you. All right, what do we got? I got the bread pudding here at Finnegan's. And this is all he has been talking about ever since he booked the Orlando Informer. It's like bread pudding with um, kind of whiskey sauce. Mm. Mm. It's like an icing on it, almost from like a cake. Nice and dense. 
a little bit like cinnamon. Very um, dense, moist, and the sauce is perfect with it. It's almost an icing. So here's the deal with the food. A couple tips. One, eat a late lunch before you go to Universal. Because the free food doesn't come out till 9. The carts kind of open at 8 for free cart, churros, pretzels, and icing. But eat a late lunch. Come here after 8 o'clock when the carts are open for the line the reformer. Get a churro, popcorn, pretzel, or icy. Something to hold you over the 9. Then 9, I would come to Finnegan's. I would go to one of the major restaurants. Three rooms straight, Lee Calderon. Many of them in here. Uh, they'll have decent food that are included. Not the full menu, like fish and chips here is not included. I can order it, but then I have to pay extra. But the limited food, just have to plan around it. To, you're not going to get a real meal until probably 9 o'clock as part of the gig. So just remember that. Madison, what did you think of our first time at the Orlando Informer after hours event here at Universal Orlando Resort? It was really fun. I enjoyed it. What did you like about it? There was basically no wait times, and even if there was some, it wasn't that long, like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, like right at eight o'clock, the park totally cleared out, like almost instantly. The day guests left, and the wait time went from like 30 to 60 minutes down to like five, 10 minutes tops on all the rides. So when they say low crowds, I would say it's like no crowds, except for maybe Haggard's. Yeah. Yeah, that one, um, it was crowded most of the night, 30 to 45 minutes even at the end. But other than that, everything else was a walk on. Um, the, what do you think about the food? So they, they really tell you about the unlimited food here. So they set the food out at most of the restaurants. And then all the carts food kind of goes, everything comes out between like 8 and 9. So what did you think about the unlimited food? I thought it was good. <laughs> Where do we, we wound up getting like a churro in a cart. We also ate at the three broomsticks. Yeah. And then we got a bunch of waters. Of course, they're free. Um, some sodas. And then we went to the um, Harry Potter soft serve in Diagon Alley, which is always good. Um, so I thought the food was good. It was out. Um, and it was in, most of it was included. Mm -hmm. And then we also did the speakeasy. The creepy tiki was just interesting kind of a beach tiki theme with zombies walking around and they danced some which was kind of cool so that was unique and then they also had a number of characters out which i hadn't seen before puss in boots was out we know spider-man was out and then also uh cat in a hat mm -hmm. so was this worth it madison i'd say so yeah it's about 200 dollars a night all in but considering no no considering no crowds after eight you can stay to 1 30 the food's out from 9 to 1 30 and most of the rides operate close to 12 or 1.30. I'd say yes, it's worth it. One of the reasons we booked it is because it's basically a way to get on the rides if you can't get into the express hotels, which are only pretty booked up in the summer. So it's kind of a quasi express pass because there's no crowds here, so you walk on everything. I'd say my only tip if you are to come is to make sure you get everything you wanted to ride done, like I'd say before 11. Because we tried to walk over to Hagrid's at like 11.40-ish because we thought that it closed at 12, but it was already closed. So I'd say that's my only tip. Awesome. So Madison, if they like Universal content, what should they do? They should subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. We think you're going to love it. If you like Universal, we come here multiple times throughout the year. We'll be back for HHN. Chris loves HHN. It's her favorite event in Orlando. We will be here Labor Day and most Labor Days for HHN. So you don't have to wait to then. We have HHN videos now on the channel. So if you're hurt for Halloween in the summer, go check out those videos. And until our next Universal Adventure Madison, may the adventures be with you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.